Arizona Hot Homestead and my name is Jeff. In today's video we're going to look at the rain harvesting system, the rain gather and the plumbing all here for my outdoor bathroom providing water for my shower. So let's take a look at what I have. So my roof is about an 8x8 roof so I have my rain gutter right here goes down to a flexible spout down into a uh, first flush and this is three inches overall length is about 40 inches or so then back to a two inch because there's a plug which is just a simply water bottle that plugs up at the two inch goes right down in here to my 275 gallon tote and this spout here is for an intake from the water pump in case I don't get any rain I can still add water this way this is my overflow as well as my vent comes out goes down and then out as you can see it's got a little bit of a slope to help give it a slope going down to the ground and then I have that extra piece going up there and what that extra piece there is is that's simply just to allow me to to treat the water if I need to so let's take a closer look so my rain gutter went over here the downspout there's a screening here just like you're screening with your uh, windows or your uh, screen doors this is a three inch down to a two inch and then to a T However, this is not attached, so I can easily pull this out and I can clean this screen if I need to. And this flexible spout just makes it easy to do. This here obviously is to hold it against the wall there. This here is all glued. And then the first flush, I have another one here. The first flush, water is about eight pounds per gallon. And this first flush is about 1.8 gallons of water. And then I have another strap down there to, hold, to help hold it. And then I just have a plug down here. And there's my bottle. This is just a standard ordinary water bottle. Now what I like about this this here is I could leave it loose and the water could drip out or I could tighten it. So once the bottle flows up here and plugs this and the water then will start to go this way and the dirt will stay down in here Then as this guy here goes down this is at a slight angle I go back to a three inch and to a three inch T and then into my tote I went to a three inch for this reason this gate lock here on this piece here this is all two inches when I attach my water pump to it, as you saw in that one video with the water pump, it actually shoots out quite a, with, with a nice force. It's 150 gallons a minute. So it does shoot out with a, with a good force. By, move, by increasing the size of this, this piping to three inch, it makes it less restrictive for the water so therefore the force of the water gets drastically reduced right here. It's still going to hit this wall here pretty hard. And then it's going to shoot down as well as up probably. Well if it shoots up, it's just going to go back up in there. Maybe some will go down in here. But that's only 1.8 gallons so that's no big deal. And because this is at a slope, it will come right back down in here this flow here is all loose so that I can remove it in fact right now I even have 
this thing loose here. If I need to, I could glue a coupler to here. There's enough here and sandwich the uh, the cap between the two. But for now, I'm going to leave it like this. If I have a problem, then I, I could do something about it. This here is all glued. But this here right now, I'm going to leave. This hole that was cut out is three and a half inches for outer diameter. So I just did a uh, hole saw and uh, put it on my cordless bit, my cordless drill. And just drilled that hole through with the uh, with the hole saw. All right, so this piece here looks like this, except this is just a different brand. I bought it at a different store. So, but the threads are the same. So, this nut that I put on here is actually a nut that I got from the. The electronics area or not electronics but the electrical department it's a conduit lock nut it's two inches and it's just it's a perfect fit for this now the re what I like about this is the way that this piece here is it actually as you tighten it I don't know how well it's coming out but it's at a slight angle right here that's actually is going to dig into this plastic a little bit Plus what I did was I took some of that clear caulking and I put the caulking all throughout these threads. So that as it sits in here and I was threading it with my arm obviously through here and down through there and, and twisting this, I was getting it as tight as I could but made sure though that there was enough of that clear caulking on there. When I was done tightening it, I put some more caulking on the threads and around this here inside. So it should not come loose at all. So this guy here should be pretty pretty much in there solidly. I shouldn't have to worry about that coming loose. But that's how I tightened that guy. And then I just made sure there was a nice cocking around the, uh, the whole outside. So, but anyhow, back to the uh, overflow and also the vent. It's all glued together, obviously. Comes through. And on this elbow, now, if you notice, this is at a little bit of an angle. And I wanted it to be a little bit of an angle. I've got some wood there just to give it some ad added support. I did it at an angle so that when this pipe, it's a 10 foot pipe, would rest right there, but it would be at an angle so the water would easily flow out. I've got the rock here just because it's raised so it gives a little bit of support plus it helps me walk over it so I don't accidentally trip on the uh, pipe. But to do this angle here what I did was I kind of glued these fittings first and glued this one last to get my angle just right. So I put a mark on here when I dry fitted it. I put a mark on here so that I could try to line it up pretty close and I pretty much got right on it. So that's how I was able to make sure I had my angle here. I did the same thing right here actually just to make sure that this guy here when I was putting him on was on too. So sometimes when you're trying to look at a specific angle with your PVC, if you dry fit and put a little mark on there, it kind of helps out a little bit. Hey. There goes Concho. He's looking for rabbit. Now on this plug here, I have on this plug, I have a whole bunch of holes drilled. I forget the size, but I drilled a whole bunch of holes through here. And even a couple along the edge here. There's also a screen on here as well. So bugs aren't going to get in this way, and I can pull this off to clean it if I need to. So the water would drain out here. This is also my vent. Now one interesting thing a plumber told me. So a plumber told me this on venting tanks. 
your tank has two things either your liquid or air so when your liquid is going in if you have two inches of volume of liquid going in your vent needs to be one and a half times the intake so your this is two inch which is the same as what this is going to end up being so if I find out that it is indeed a problem for me exhaust of the air is not fast enough venting of the air is not fast enough then I could always add another vent so there you have it my rain harvesting system for my outdoor shower do catch the other videos that show you the build of the shower um, the water pump and the shower itself and the and the sink I made and all types of stuff um, but that's it for this video Thank you for watching my video today, and I appreciate you watching it all the way through there. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and comment. Every little bit helps support my channel. My name is Jeff, and you've been watching Arizona Hot Homestead.